Tanya Washington is a law professor at Georgia State University College of Law. She says even though the U.S. laws permit solitary confinement in some cases, the report shows that immigration authorities have been abusing it. There's the moral issue, but the legal issue um, is that it's allowed, it is permitted under circumstances um, for detainees to be isolated in solitary confinement for administrative purposes. However, what this report seems to suggest is the policies, procedures, and protocols that are in place to make sure that that's a last resort have not been adhered to, to the detriment of those who have been segregated in extreme conditions. I think it establishes that there is has been very little, if any, oversight. Again, the regulations do spell out some uh, limitations and on when and whether someone is subjected to solitary confinement, but it appears that there has been no supervising of when people are placed in the, this most extreme set of circumstances. And so people were placed there who have mental conditions, who are vulnerable, who should not be placed in this type of confinement just for the purpose of maintaining good order and to the detriment of the actual detainee. I think it's important to remember that many of these de detainees are there simply because they were seeking asylum and they're awaiting some sort of determination as to whether they'll be allowed to stay in the country. They are not criminals. They have done nothing wrong. And to subject them to this kind of treatment is it's un, un American, it's unconstitutional, and it certainly violates the protocols that ICE has in place.